Seekers, I'm Nick. We're very lucky to be able to play with the latest and greatest hardware and let you guys know if it's worth the money. Sometimes we have something that's pretty special coming through the studio and we get so excited to play with it that we actually forget that we have it. <laughs> that being said, MSI stand over there, brand new RTX 2080 Ti Lightning Z, so we did what we always do and we let it stretch its legs and see if it's worth the, wait for it, wait for it, 2,500 Australian dollars or 1,600 US dollars. Let's see if it's any good. The MSI Lightning Z2080 Ti, as far as 2080 Ti's go, is fairly feature packed. Now, we can talk about thermals and noise and all that stuff until we're blue in the face, but it's got three fans that keep it pretty cool and it's pretty quiet, I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, that's the thing with all these new RTX cards. Almost all of them are quiet. And the reason why we never talk about thermals is because we test everything in a in this climate controlled space that we've got and it's on an open air test bench and touring cards in general run pretty hot. Okay, let's see how it performs. So let's talk about how we're actually testing this. We're using our GPU test system, which is running the ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming 9 with the i7-8700K and 16 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z clocked at 3200 megahertz. This is the same test system we usually use for all of our GPU testing, which is actually gonna be changing very soon, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna be like a whole nother video, but anyway, we don't include 1% highs or lows with any of these tests because it would just introduce a lot more testing, and I personally feel that getting an average frame rate gives you a pretty good indication of expected performance. Now, we ran three different benchmarks, all that used the GPU in different ways to see what the performance looks like in all of those situations. So let's get started with all the testing. The first test we're doing is with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This benchmark is built into the game, gives us a good indication of how the game will perform on your system. Now, this benchmark actually does give us quite a few metrics, but we're only going to be talking about the average frame rate with the GPU. For the 1080p test, we saw the Lightning Z get an average frame rate of 118 frames per second. For the 1440p test, we saw the Lightning Z get an average score of 111 frames per second. For the 4K test, we saw the Lightning Z get an average score of 75 frames per second. Let's move on to Unigen Superposition. For the Superposition test, we performed three tests in total. We used the 4K Optimized preset, the 1080p Extreme preset, and a custom 1440p test with depth of field and motion blur turned off. For the 1440p custom test, we saw the Lightning Z get an average score of 173 frames per second. For the 4K optimized test, we saw the Lightning Z get an average score of 90 frames per second. Lastly, that good old 1080p extreme test. This test is, as the name implies, it's pretty extreme. For the 1080p extreme test, we saw the Lightning Z get an average score of 67 frames per second. The last batch of tests is with the Final Fantasy 15 benchmarking tool. This is an updated version of the tool that includes DLSS and a few more optimizations to make it a far more accurate benchmarking tool. For the 1080p test, we saw the Lightning Z render a total amount of 11,615 frames. For the 1440p test, we saw the Lightning Z render a total amount of 9,979 frames. For the 4K test, we saw the Lightning Z render a total amount of 6,222 frames. The MSI Lightning Z 2080 Ti is not cheap, but like I've mentioned in the past, if you're seriously considering buying a 2080 Ti, I feel like the price probably isn't a big deal to you because you must really, really hate your money because at the time of filming this, <laughs> the Lightning Z is going for a mind-boggling 1,600 US dollars. For us Aussies, 
2500 Aussie dollar it is. In saying that though, the performance of this example of the 2080 Ti is, how would you say? It's, it's better than I expected. But is it 2500 Aussie dollar it is good? I can buy the, the Gigabyte Gaming OC card for six to seven hundred dollars cheaper and it's only slightly slower but it's not six to seven hundred dollars slower it's a lot of money for a single pc component but again if you're looking at buying a 2080 ti i don't think the price tag is going to be that much of an issue there's a few reasons why the lightning z is a little bit more expensive than some of the other rtx cards on the market the first reason is that it's got a lot of customization with the lighting the second reason is that it's got a programmable display on the side of the card that can display just about any metric you could possibly imagine and lastly the back plate is made from real carbon fiber and Carbon fiber is a pretty expensive material to produce. And I just wanted to address this again. The reason why we don't add 1% highs and lows into these tests or frame times or temperatures or any of that stuff is because these are benchmarks, not play tests. If you want the numbers for everything, there are plenty other channels that do all of that stuff. It's just not what we do here and we're not about to start. The majority of people from our many, many years of experience will want to know the average of how their cards will perform. We use these three benchmarks because they're just that, they're benchmarks. It's, it's, it's right there in the name. We don't do gameplay tests because the amount of variation is far too high and it doesn't give you an accurate measurement of average performance. And that's the key word with these tests. The word is average, let that, let that sink in. So to answer the inevitable question about how this card would perform with Apex Legends or PUBG or Fortnite, well, it will perform about as well as you'd expect a 1600 US dollar GPU to perform. Pretty f***ing good. <laughs> to add to that as well, we're not a massive channel. We don't have 10 staff. We don't have four or five benches to run at the same time. Claire and I do all the testing on the same bench. These videos take like 10 to 12 hours just to do the testing part without rolling a single second of footage. The amount of time and effort that goes into these videos like we've mentioned before, is absolutely astronomical and sometimes it can take up to two work days just to do one of these benchmarking videos. So yeah, there's only so many hours in a day and I hope you guys can understand that. If you're interested in grabbing the MSI RTX 2080 Ti Lightning Z, there are links in the description. And like I mentioned, they're going for around 1600 US dollars or around 2500 Aussie dollar dues. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and Tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And if we had more staff, and well, which, which we just don't, we would definitely do more testing, but it just takes so much time. I really hope you guys can understand that. Thanks for watching.